In this video, I will show you how to edit like by Maximize. And you've seen this effect probably on Instagram already. By Maximize is not the only one that does it anymore. There's a lot of channels that do this style. And if you want to learn more about this style and become a pro editor, earn two to 5K a month, then do join my Social Creator Club Pro. In here, you will also get the project file and there's a lot of great editors. So even if you don't want to edit these videos, there's some great editors in there that can help you out. Now let's jump into it. So I already downloaded a couple of clips of Usain Bolt and imported them in Premiere Pro. Now you can of course also edit this in After Effects, but Premiere Pro works fine with this. And these clips are from YouTube, but there's also a couple of other sites that you can use for this. I will also link these websites in the description down below. Now let's create a new sequence first, and I'm just gonna go into social, nine by 16, 30 by 30 frames per second, that's fine. Just press okay, there we go. And we have our project here. Now I have this great interview with Usain Bolt. So I'm just gonna import that, keep existing settings. Now you don't have to use an interview or a podcast. You can also just add some text later on. I will also show you how to do that. Now that we have the interview imported, I'm just gonna go to effect controls and I'm gonna scale this up a bit and let's center this. So we might use this later on. Now for the captions, I'm just gonna show you the automatic way and also in my opinion, the easiest way to do this. So in Premiere Pro, you can just go to window text, then go to transcript and then transcribe this video. It will take a couple of seconds and then we have all the text and all the captions. Now we can just go to captions, create captions from transcript, open up the captioning preferences and make sure the lines is set to single and the minimum duration is set to the lowest possible and the maximum length in characters is also set to the lowest possible. Then click on create captions. And as you can see, we now will have all these captions and this is really cool. Now you can also adjust your captions here. Uh, trust me, it's easier to do this now than later on. So if you want to change some words or you want to combine words, uh, you can do so here. So for example, if we want to have like that together, you can just merge these captions and they will be together as you can see. And then later on, we will change the style of this too. Now, this is great, but of course the style is horrible. <laughs> We're gonna change that by just clicking on one of these and then you will have this properties panel on the right. In older versions, this will be called essential graphics. In the newer version is properties. Or when you watch this video in 2040, then maybe it's called something different. Now let's change the font first and I'm gonna use Europa Grotesque and then bold, I can already increase the size of it. And the position is fine because we can change that later on. Make sure your stroke is off, your fill set to white. And then we can click on this button, redefine style, press okay. And this will basically apply the style to all of our captions. Now that's great. And the only thing we now have to do is select all of our captions and then go to graphics and titles, upgrade caption to graphic. Now it will just create all of these text layers. And basically if you don't do this automatically, you will have to create all of these manually. Now that's not impossible. It just takes a bit more time. And it could be nice, for example, if you don't have an audio clip, because if you go back to the example of Maximize, there's also no voiceover under this. This is just text that's over it. But a lot of these videos do include a voiceover. That's why I wanted to show it. So let's say you don't have this voiceover. You can also just go to the type tool and then, for example, just type your text. Make sure this is selected. And then the same what we just did before. Make sure you use the font Europa Grotesque. There we go. Fill set to white, stroke set to off. Now if we go to the selection tool, we can move this around. And as you can see, it's uh, really similar, except now you have to do this all manually. Now, one thing I see a lot is where the text basically pops up on the screen here and there. And the best way to do this is to just make sure that this is selected, make sure your selection tool is selected. And we can just move this around. Then we're gonna move this on the video layer too. Let's drag this out, then go to the next one. Then we have this, we can also move this. Then make sure the next word retiring is on the next layer. We're also gonna do that with early. And then we're just gonna drag this out just like this. So these text layers are stacking. Now we can just go to the next word. Again, moving this around, we can even Make it a bit more creative. Maybe we'll put it here, change the its, select the its, and then the word early. Let's move this maybe here. So now it pops up, it's okay, retiring early, just like this. Now we can go to the effect controls and then go to opacity and change the blend mode to difference. And this will have this really cool effect, as you can see. You can also use overlay, 
but this is really cool as you can see maybe something like this and now it just pops in if you want to do a bit of a different technique we can also select all of these in points by holding shift then right clicking apply default transition this will basically add this cross dissolve and it will basically make it fade in now i think these cross dissolves are way too long so we can also select all of these cross dissolves again by holding shift and clicking on them then right click set transition duration and we can set this to maybe like five milliseconds there we go so now it fades in as you can see it's okay retiring early now another thing i've also seen is where the text blurs away and we can do that by going to the effects panel and just adding a gaussian blur double click while you have the layer selected then find the Gaussian blur here. And then we can set a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch. Let's go to the end. And then we can keyframe it so it's really blurry, as you can see. And it will basically just blur. You could also then add another cross dissolve, but in my opinion, this already works fine. Now, speaking of Gaussian blur anyway, if we go back to the example, as you can see, this word dream isn't that sharp. That's because there is also a small blur on this just to make it a bit more organic, I would say less digital almost. So we can also just add a Gaussian blur to, for example, the word, okay, let's zoom in a bit so you can really see it. Go to effect controls while you have this layer selected and then we can just increase the blurriness by a bit, not too much, literally maybe just like two or three. Let's see, maybe three. And as you can see, it will make it a bit more organic it's a small difference, but it looks really cool. Now I showed you how to create this text. I showed you how to create this effect with the difference blending mode. And I showed you how to create these captions, but I haven't shown you how to do this effect with this Macintosh. Now credits to by Maximize, because I think his creativity is really great. And I think this image is also real. So he really bought a Macintosh to create this shot. I, on the other hand, used AI to create this Macintosh. So let's select all of these text layers and let's move them up. Let's put this Macintosh between this. I'm gonna cut this off by pressing C and then selecting this and deleting this. And I'm gonna go to effect controls. I'm gonna scale it up a bit so it fills the screen. And we can even now select all these text layers, move them up again, one layer. Then I'm gonna go to the rectangle tool. I'm gonna create a shape just like this. Make sure it covers the whole image and click on fill and change the solid to linear gradient. Now we can choose our own colors. And here's some quick advice, good artists copy, great artists steal. If you just pick multiple styles of multiple creators, you can create your own style. And that's the same with this. If you're gonna use the same green colors, the same fonts, and basically create the exact same style as by Maximize, then you're just a copycat. So implement these skills in your own project, but always add something from yourself. So in this case, what we can already do, for example, is change these colors to another color or a color that we really like. I always like this like blue, maybe something like this. Yeah, okay, that's okay. Now go to the selection tool and then we can actually adjust the gradient a bit. So let's make it go from the top right to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna dial the opacity down maybe to something like 40%. You can also change this blending mode if you want to play around with that, but this should work. I like that. Now, again, this graphic needs to be cut off. So press C to cut this off, delete this. And I'm also gonna move this below the text, something like this. There we go. And then again, select the text, move it up one more layer. And let's add a adjustment layer. So go to new item, adjustment layer, press OK. Let's drag this in between this, press C to cut this off. There we go. And we're gonna add a transform effect to this. So just search for transform, then drag this transform on the adjustment layer, then keyframe the scale. Let's go to the last part here. Let's scale it up to something like this. So now it scales in, that's cool. Now, as you can see, the Macintosh is not see-through yet. So we can just go to the Macintosh, then just click on the pen tool here in the effect controls uh, under opacity. And then I'm just gonna draw a really rough mask in this screen, something like this. Make sure the edges are rounded by clicking and holding your mouse down. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now make sure the inverted option is turned on and we've got our screen. Now the video below it is way too zoomed in. So we're gonna click on the video and I'm just gonna scale that down and I'm just gonna cut this off first at this point and then gonna click on the video and I'm gonna scale this down by a lot. Let's zoom out a bit. We can also click on motion to see the frame basically. It's also a bit easier to position it then and to scale it a bit. 
maybe moving it like this. There we go. And now what's cool is basically we have the text popping up. Now we just have to move this second part. So now we have the second part and let's maybe align this a bit better. And now for this text, I actually can center it. So it's like everybody keeps and then let's move this too. And again, we can change the opacity blending mode to difference, maybe move it a bit below so you can really see this effect. Let's move this down too. So it's everybody keeps. And then of course we can even add some of these footage here of Usain Bolt running. So I can set the in point, out point, drag this in. Bloop. Then of course go to effect controls and make sure that this is filling the screen. And then you get something like this. Again, if you want to become a pro editor, then do join the Social Creator Club Pro. Link is in the description down below. Then do leave a comment of what you want to see next. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And then of course, thanks for watching and thanks for all the support. And then I'll see you next time. Bye.